database design tutorial. Learn how to design databases with Vertabello. Part 3. References In the previous videos, we defined two tables, person and car. They describe what data we will collect about people and cars. Both a person and a car have some data that identify them. In the case of a person, it is social security number. And for a car, it is a vehicle identification number. These are their identifiers. In this database model, there is no relationship between a person and a car. But in reality, people own cars. Or, in other words, cars are owned by people. In the database world, this kind of relationship is represented by a reference. A reference defines that there is a relationship between its tables it links. It also shows how they are related to each other. The relationship may be of one of the following types. One to one, one to many, or many to many. What does it mean? A one to one relationship means that one row from table A is related to at most one row from table B, and vice versa. A single row from table B is related to at most one row from table A. For example, one country has one president. One president represents one country. Another example of a one-to-one -one relationship. One husband has one wife. One wife has one husband. In a one-to-many relationship, one row from table A may be related to many rows from table B, but every row from table B may be related to, at most, one row from table A. This is the case with football players and their clubs. One club has many players, but one player belongs to, at most, one club at a time. It is also true for a mother and her children. One mother has many children, but one child has exactly one biological mother. Finally, in a many-to-many -many relationship, the maximum multiplicity in each direction is many. An example of many-to-many -many relationship may be students and classes. One student signs up for many classes. One class has many students sign up for it. Let's try to find out the type of relationship between our tables person and car. We will start with a one-to-one -one reference. Now, one person may be the owner of only one car. One car is owned by one person, but it's not true. One person may have many cars. So, let's now link them with a one-to-many relationship. This means that one person may be an owner of many cars. This is okay, but here, one car may still have only one owner. That is also not true. Let's reverse the relationship. Now, a car may have many owners, but one person may have only one car. It's not our solution. So, here comes the many-to-many -many relationship. It says that one person may have many cars, and one car may have many owners. That's it. Now, let's go through all kinds of references and see how references affect our tables and how they look in the data. If we create a one-to-one -one reference, we must add a new column to one table. A column with an identifier referencing another table. It is called a foreign key. So, we have to add the owner's social security number to the table describing a car. It's very important that this column is of the same data type as the column identifying a person it will hold the same data. And here is how it looks in the data. For a one-to-one -one reference, we add a column to the car table with the owner's social security number. Now we see that a car with VIN123 is owned by a person with SSN001. A car with identification number 345 is owned by a person identified by 002. And so on. In the case of a one-to-many reference where one person may have many cars, nothing changes. With such a structure, we can supply that same person's SSN for multiple cars. In fact, if we want to make a one-to-one -one reference, we need to assure that values in the foreign key column are unique. We do it with additional constraints, which will be explained in further videos. If we want to make a one-to-many reference where one car may have multiple owners, we need to add a foreign key column to the person table. Now we see that many people may relate to the same car. For example, a car with VIN123 is referenced by a person with SSN001 and a person with SSN002. 
But the many-to-many -many reference is a little bit more complicated. Note that with such a structure we cannot store information both about multiple cars owners and multiple people's cars. In such case we must add a third table called a junction table. At the very least it must contain foreign key columns. Rows in this table contain data which link both the person and car tables. For example, a person with SSN001 owns two cars, the VIN123 and 345. A person with SSN002 owns only one car, 345. A car with VIN123 is owned by one person, 001. A car with VIN345 is owned by two people, 001 and 002. As you can see, we now have a many-to-many -many relationship. Can you now identify and model a relationship between a book and an author? Vertebello. Design databases online.